right, next letter. I heard that a 50 caliber Desert Eagle, which can pass through an engine block, will not be able to pass through 25 watermelons. Okay, that's random. Yeah, totally. I love a good high speed of melon carnage. Remember we drove the car through the fruit stand and all the just juice going everywhere? Yeah, one of the best high speeds ever. Let's do it. A 50 caliber Desert Eagle pistol is a steel piercing piece of weaponry. Those are some nice melons, Carrie. But is it true that a medley of 25 melons can really prevent it passing through? We're firing a 50 caliber round through these watermelons. Now, just to put this into perspective, a 50 caliber round can shoot through an engine block, and it can take down an 800 pound boar charging straight at you. It's gonna be fun to see what it does to a couple watermelons. All right, so who's gonna take the shot? Wanna Rochambeau for it? I thought we were gonna wrestle for it. All right, fine. Rochambeau. I guess I'll win. You're probably going to want to wear this. It's going to get messy. Sorry, loser. With Carrie dressed for a mess. If I make this look good. Tori has some useful advice. Just remember, aim for the melons. Good luck. How many do you think it's going to get through? I don't know, maybe about ten. Ten? Yeah. My guess, too. Yeah. All right, this is Can You Fire, a 50 caliber round through 25 watermelons. Take it away, Carrie. Here we go. What? That is it? It turns out 10, never mind 25, was a gross overestimate. And by the time the guys throw some science at it, they work out the why. We went through three watermelons. That's incredible. Well, you know, it, it really does make sense. When Jamie and Adam were firing the 50 caliber sniper rifle into the swing pool. One. It, it got, like, a couple feet at most. So, watermelons, full of water. Yeah, water's not compressible. I mean, it does make sense, but, man, I thought it was going to go further than that. This myth is totally confirmed. A 50 caliber round cannot go through 25 watermelons. In fact, we only got it to go through three. It's a beautiful illustration of the expenditure of energy. The bullet enters the first watermelon, and all of the energy is just absorbed. It smashes the watermelon into a million pieces. Then we go into the second watermelon, and it just kind of breaks into two distinct parts. Then we go into the third watermelon, we have a beautiful entrance and exit wound, but that's it. And then we don't make it to the fourth watermelon. So this is not only really confirmed, but on amazing high speed.